Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a very delicious lemon magic custard cake. Now I do have a magic custard cake and a chocolate magic custard cake on my channel so I will leave the links in the description box below so you can check those out as well because they are amazing. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lemon version and it is very easy to make. Just a few steps to follow but definitely worth it in the end. And let's move on to our ingredients. Okay, so what we have here is some eggs separated. So I have some egg yolks and whites, some milk, freshly squeezed lemon juice, vanilla extract, some butter, which is softened at room temperature, but it doesn't matter because we will be melting it, the zest of one lemon, some all-purpose flour and salt, a little bit of cream of tartar, and some sugar, and that's about it. Once our custard cake is completely done and cooled, we will then top it with some icing sugar and that's it, it will be complete. So let's move on to making our lemon magic custard cake. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is whip up our egg whites and we are going to add in a small amount of cream of tartar. And we are going to whip these up till about uh, medium to firm peaks. Okay, so this looks good. It should only take a few minutes on high speed. We have some nice firm peaks here. So now what I'm going to do is place my egg whites in a separate clean bowl here, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so it's not necessary to wash your bowl. So what I'm going to do now is add in my egg yolks. Okay, we will also add in our vanilla extract. And we will add in our sugar. And we are going to whip these up for three to four minutes until they are nice, light, and fluffy. Okay, so this looks good. It's been four minutes, and as you can see, our egg yolk mixture is nice, light, and fluffy. So make sure that you scrape bottom and sides as many times as you feel that you need to. And now what we are going to do is add in our melted butter, which I already melted mine, and um, we are going to mix for another three minutes. Okay, so once you have added in your melted butter and you have mixed for three minutes, just make sure that you, throughout this whole process, continuously scrape down the bottom and sides of your bowl just to make sure that everything is being well mixed together. Okay, so now it's time to add in our dry ingredients, which is our flour and salt, but we are going to sift them in. Okay, so just mix till incorporated. You don't want to overmix once you've added in your dry ingredients. And now we are ready to add in our lemon juice and mix till incorporated. Okay, so this looks great. And now we are ready to add in our milk. Now before we do so, I just want to let you know that it needs to be at warm temperature. So what I did was I placed it in my microwave for one minute and 45 seconds, and that did the trick. You just want it warm, you don't want it boiling, or you don't want it really hot. Warm is good. So now what I'm going to do is with my machine on, I'm going to slowly incorporate my milk. Don't add it all at once.
Okay, so this looks good. Now what I like to do is give it a final whisk here just to make sure there is nothing on the bottom. Okay, so this looks good. And now we are ready to zest in our lemon and we are also ready to fold in our egg whites. Now you want to make sure with folding in your egg whites, you are very cautious with it. You don't want to lose the air that you have uh, produced in the egg whites. And uh, it will take a few minutes, but just be patient with it because it will all work out in the end and it will definitely be worth it. Okay, so I placed my batter here in an eight by 11 dish, which I lightly greased with some nonstick spray. So we are ready to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around 50 minutes or so. And then I'll meet you right back here as soon as it's done. Okay, so my cake baked for exactly 53 minutes. You will know it's baked because it becomes a nice golden brown on the top and it puffs up really nicely all around. So that's that. And now it's been sitting here at room temperature for about one hour and 15 minutes. So now we are definitely ready to um, dust it with some icing sugar. Okay, so one very important thing before we try our lemon magic custard cake, you need to make sure that this cools off completely. I have only waited an hour and 15 minutes because I want to show you guys, but I will be placing this in the fridge. But the, for the best results, I say leave it at room temperature for about an hour, and then you can place it in your fridge and allow it to cool completely for a few hours and then dust it with some icing sugar. You can serve it any way you like, with fruit, anything you want, but most definitely um, don't skip on uh, placing the powdered sugar on top because it is very, very important and it definitely gives it an amazing um, extra special touch and sweetness. So now we are definitely ready to try this. It is delicious. You can taste the cake layer and the custard layer. It is amazing. It definitely needs to go to the fridge and that's where I'm going to place it now. But it is so wonderful and it's such a light dessert. It is just perfection. It's not overly sweet. It's perfect in every single way. And I really hope you guys give this one a try. So easy to put together and make sure that you follow step by step. I know there are a few steps to making this cake, but it is most definitely worth it in the end. So make sure that you don't miss out on any of the steps because they're all very important. And that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.